My Sapa Inca, the infidels in Castile, declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite conquest as their CB. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're supposed to be back with the nation of Cebu, but we're not. We're not. Listen, I've said it many times, I don't like playing in maritime Southeast Asia. All the islands, all the pain. And honestly, I couldn't think of a good goal to do with them, and the Philippine Tiger achievement would take too long. So that's why we're skipping Cebu for now. Hopefully this doesn't become another meme like Below Zero. But yes, we're skipping Cebu for now. We'll come back to them, of course. And we're back with the nation of Chachapoya. That's right. You haven't heard of them. I haven't heard of them. No one has heard of them. Chachapoya is a nation located in the Peru region in South America, one of the Inca nations over here, and honestly, it's one of the poorest and worst nations to form Inca with. We start off with this horrible 2-2-1 guy over here, no feudalism, but their ideas are actually pretty good for a tall Inca, if there is such a thing. Construction discounts, production efficiency, we got morale over here, dev discounts, fort defense is pretty good too, diplorep not bad, advisor discounts, and all around, a decent idea set. But what do we do as Chachapoya? Well, obviously, since we're an Inca nation, we're anti our primary goal is going to be to beat up all of these guys over here and form the nation of Inca itself. And then we need to avenge the nation of Inca, which historically fell to the Spanish. And we're going to be doing that by defeating Spain slash Castile when they come around. So that's our two goals for today, baby. Can we beat Spain? Probably not. Will we try? Probably yes. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Chachapoya. Alright, alright, here we are as Chachapoya. This is our situation right here. Obviously, we don't have feudalism, we don't have government reforms. We're an anti nation, so we're gonna have to go through all of these reforms by gathering authority and then reforming our religion. Honestly, man, we're a super, super poor nation. We're not like these guys down south that have all the gold. It's easy to form Inca with these guys. It's not so easy to form Inca with these guys, especially with Chachapoya. Definitely one of the worst nations. So yeah, man, we're gonna have to get to conquering here. We're gonna have to get to getting allies. And of course, we're gonna start off by doing some estate stuff. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Let's see our force limit right here. It's seven. So let's get two more infantry regiments. This guy sucks. That's right. Ah, and he's greedy too. Awesome, man. I love rulers like this. No, I don't. At least he's pretty shocking. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll lower army maintenance and turn off my level three fort hey we got that going for us and uh let's get some rivals too these guys and these guys which are these two guys right here and can i get any allies all right uh let's link up with ichma here and uh maybe we'll be able to link with these guys not sure not sure but we'll see also i'll start off by spying on these guys right here and these guys right here we're gonna have to get the conquering pretty quick here baby you know what it is we also do have the ability to spawn institutions unlike the other native nations in the Americas. so we can spawn feudalism we can spawn renaissance and uh stuff like that all right all right so i've spied on these guys right here actually let me get uh the second claim on either of them i've activated local defensiveness here and i got a free company going it's time to declare our first war boys let's declare on these guys right here who are only allied to these guys and uh we're not gonna co-belligerent them because then we're gonna have to fight Cusco, which i don't want to do so let's declare for uh their capital right here I'll try and full annex both of these guys. Should be easy enough. Of course, all of this is super painful due to all the mountains that we're going to be fighting in. And uh, yeah, we're going to be losing a lot of men here, boys. A lot of men. All right, so war is pretty much done. I did have to piece out these guys because I would have gotten beaten by both of them in battles. So I just took these two provinces from them right here. We'll finish them off later. And unfortunately, Quito also declared on these guys, so I can't full annex them. But it is what it is. I'm pretty satisfied. We have at least expanded a little bit. Now I'm also spying on Wanka and Quito. And I'll actually continue my conquests right away here because Quito don't have any allies. They were allied to Chimu here, but I guess they're not. Maybe Chimu wants the land that they took or something like that. So uh, if we could full annex these guys, whew, that would be great. So let's declare on them. And there we go. This war is done as well. I did lose a battle. This is expected. All these mountains. It's inevitable that we're going to lose battles. But hey, at least we won the war, man. A big adversary removed right here. Boom, let's take everything and their money and everything. We don't really care about aggressive expansion at all because uh, a coalition won't really do anything here. We can also take this mission too. Improve capital. Yes, yes, I will do that. I will do that. And uh, uh, 
No, come on. I don't want to go bankrupt now. Let's pay off all of these loans, huh, boys? Let's pay them off. Woo. Actually, that's a lot of loans paid off. All right, let's chill a little bit. And uh, I guess we'll fight Wanka next. Maybe I can break my alliance. Oh, I guess uh, my alliance with these guys already broke. <laughs> all right, well, I just fought like five separatist stacks. No big deal. It's time to continue with our wars. Declare on each more right here who are unfortunately allied to Cusco. But it is what it is. We can just call in our boys Chimu. Hell yeah. All right, well, this war is pretty much done. White pieced Cusco as expected. And uh, it did take a while because this is a coastal fort after all. But we did win, even though uh, I took a few L's here and there. So uh, yeah, these guys full annexed. Let's fight some more separatists and then uh, continue to push down south. This is going to be annoying because Wonka is allied to Chimu. And I'm stupid because I should have declared on these guys while I was in this war with Chimu. Right, right, I'm an idiot. But hey, this is all expected in A to Z. Isn't that right, boys? And Chimu broke their alliance with me and rivaled me, of course. Well, let's rival them back. <laughs> oh, but now Cusco is willing to ally me. Should I ally Cusco in order to fight Chimu? Uh, I think yes. Let's start currying favors with them. Oh, actually, there's monuments here. The Chan Chan Citadel, it's already at level 2. So when I get it, it'll be level 1. Garrison growth, defensiveness. Yearly authority is actually pretty good. So uh, yeah, I like that. Let's check out some more monuments. Are there any more here? There's gotta be some more. Oh, there's... Five monuments, dude. All right, we got this that I'm not going to try and pronounce. Machu Picchu, of course. Very nice. This one, too. We can probably use all of these, right? Man, with all that gold we're going to be gobbling up down here later. Six gold mines, baby. You know what it is. We're going to be building all of them to level three before Spain even comes. All right, next war time. Let's declare on Wonka here since I still have a truce with Chimu. I'm going to declare for this province right here, their capital. And I'm going to call in Cusco since we're also going to be fighting Cola over here. Chimu is pretty weak. They just got beaten up by uh, noble rebels. So this should be pretty easy. I know I'm suffering with Merc Manpower. I don't care, dude. I literally don't. Why would you even care about stuff? Am I right? Hey, and let's separate piece Chimu and full annex them. There we go. Awesome, awesome. I love it. Now let's just piece out these guys and annex these guys. Then I'll bring my alliance with Cusco. Ally someone else down here. Keep pushing down south. You know what it is, man. Are we any closer to forming Inca? Let's see. Hmm, I guess we need uh, two more provinces. Cusco and Huancavelica. And then one of Puno and uh, Tiahuanaco. And there we go. The war is done. Let's full annex them. Boom. Easy. And now we can also break our alliance with Cusco. There we go. No more alliance with Cusco. Let's try and find another ally. And uh, I guess we can ally some of these guys down here. These two guys but they're also allied to Cusco. <laughs> hey, we actually finally acquired a gold mine down here, so we can definitely bump it up. It's already in a state, so let's uh, encourage dev right here. It's already a two dev. Boom, there we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now we can, uh, oh, actually, it's pretty low. Sweet. Of course, we are making squat from it right now. <laughs> hey, and we can actually pass our first reform. What do I usually go with here? I think I take the morale first. Yeah, we will regret this. Oh, no, so sad. Blah, 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 blah. We do have to deal with these pretenders now, though. All right, so I've chilled a bit. The truce with Cusco is up, so it is time to declare on them. They do have a mothballed fort right here, so maybe I can snipe it. So let's declare for Cusco. Call in Cole over here. Uh, this is going to be a pretty difficult war. We're pretty evenly matched, but uh, I think we should be able to pull this off. And uh, there we go. Actually, not a difficult war at all. I did manage to easily piece out these guys since they're involved in other wars as well. And uh, just like that, we can full annex Cusco, man. I love it. Boom, there we go. Another gold mine acquired. Of course, we can't take maximum advantage of this because uh, we're primitive, sort of. And uh, yeah, I guess it's time to break my lance with these guys too and uh, keep pushing south. Only four more nations left and uh, not a lot more provinces left to form Inca. And what I'll actually do is I'll move my uh, capital to Cusco here. Nice province, center of trade, gold. You know what it is. All right, choose with Cola is up. Time to declare on them. The only real way I'm suffering right now is manpower. But once again, hopefully I can snipe this mothballed fort. So let's declare on Cola right here for their capital Puno. We we are gonna have to fight these guys as well, but who cares? Let's be real, who cares? And there we go, another super easy war. Let's annex these guys as well. Boom, there we go. Cash, money, provinces, three gold mines that we're still uh, making very little gold from. And we got three more provinces down here. Now, these guys are fighting each other. I think I am gonna wait uh, for them to finish fighting each other before I uh, declare on either of them. Meanwhile, I have also been spawning feudalism in my new capital of Cusco here. I should have bumped it up to a level two center of trade, right? Yep, I should have. There we go. Let's make it at least a little bit more cheaper and uh let's see there we go i know i'm bumping uh massive amounts of gold but hey it is what it is and here we go we have feudalism uh to embrace it 446 ducats right and then as the renaissance 
and uh, then it, of course it's uh, colonialism. It is weird that with the Incan nations you can spawn institutions, whereas with these other guys uh, you can't, but hey, that's how they're played, baby. That's how they're played. Can we form Inca now? Uh, no, I need to own one of uh, Puno or Tia Juanaco. Wait, I do. Oh, after this we're gonna form Inca as soon as we core them up. Excellent. Ah, the Portuguese have arrived. Well, hello there. And we've once again reached 100 authority. Ah, uh, right. I need to stab up before I uh, before I take one of these. So what do we do next? Maybe we can get a colonist now, right? Not a lot of other places to conquer, so we don't need the CCR. Who cares about legitimacy and manpower recovery speed? So yeah, baby, let's get a colonist. They will regret this. Oh, actually, these are big stacks. Um, <laughs> I think I am gonna need a Merc company. Come on, dude, like 50 rebel stacks isn't enough? Jesus, uh, we gotta sacrifice a human to appease the comet. I don't know if the Incans did that, but you know, we will. Hey, we can actually form Inca. We finished scoring. All right, oh, Portugal is gonna beat up uh, my rebels. Thank you, Portugal, very cool. And uh, let's form Inca, baby. Boom, yes, please. Ah, there we go. I love being Inca. We can enact a government reform, apparently. Wait, is this an exploit? I know we gotta reform our religion before we can get government reforms, but uh, I guess we can become a autocracy or feudal nobility. Let's become an autocracy. I don't know if this works. I guess it does and doesn't at the same time. Ah, oh, a disaster. The peasants war. No, no, no. Now, right now, I would declare on these guys, but I don't have any manpower. I can actually uh, stop this peasants war by doing uh, just this, I think. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe no disasters this game, boys. Hopefully. All right, well, we're still struggling with manpower, but uh, let's get to conquering, man. I want to own everything right here before the Spanish arrive. So let's just declare for uh, their capital right here. Two forts, I know, but once again, this one's mothballed. Hopefully we can snipe it. Let's take a look at the garrison. Uh, oh, right. You can't snipe forts. Maybe that's why I wasn't getting any of these over here. They changed that. And there we go. We've beaten these guys up as well. Three more gold mines, so all the gold will have been acquired after this war. Perfect. Let's take their money too. Meanwhile, I did get an event where 19k Chimu guys spawned over here. So, uh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Time to pass another, uh, reform. Uh, actually, wait. Why can't we get it? Ah, right, right. Okay, let's unoccupy this and then get it. Let's get the legitimacy one. They will regret this for the third time. Reigns is here too, surprisingly. Still no Spain or Castile. All right, let's clean up these final guys over here. And these guys are all done too, man. Awesome. We've conquered all the Inca nations uh, a little slower than I would have thought. But then again, we did start out with a super weak nation. So let's uh, core all of this up. Let's pass uh, the final two reforms and uh, wait for someone to get here, man. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and make some money, bump up these gold mines, even though we're making squat from them. And uh, yeah, first colony done. Excellent. Let's send this guy here. All right. All right. Fourth reform time. Of course, the bigger we are, the faster we gain authority. Uh, let's go for this. They will regret that. How many times did I say that? <laughs> and I'm wrong, culture. I just realized that I'm not a uh, part of any of the Andean cultures. I'm a uh, Pachapoyan. And I just spawned gold in this province? I like that. Seven gold provinces, baby. You know what it is. Of course, high inflation good, so... Yeah. Hey, finally some signs that these guys exist, man. Hello, Castile. More colonies and just waiting around. That's what I'm doing right now. Hey, it's time to pass our uh, final reform. Uh, first, I need to stab up once, I think. And uh, yeah, now we can pass it. Let me just raise my forts over here and army maintenance because, of course, pretenders are about to spawn. And let's take the final one, reform the bureaucracy. Okay, they will regret this for the fifth time. And it's time to fight pretenders for the fifth time. Oops, <laughs> stabbed up once more than I wanted to, but it's so I do see some yellow guy over here. This is most likely Castile. Not sure since I can't see it. Uh, I wonder if these guys, which are my allies, by the way, will share maps. Okay, they might. So if they share maps of Colombia, hey, sweet, we can see that. And oh, is this, uh, that's France apparently. And uh, this is Castile right here. Okay, so we have confirmed that. Um, I still can't reform because I don't border anyone, but at least Castile is sort of close to us. So yeah, so I did break my alliance with these guys over here. I am royal married, but uh, I'm thinking as soon as this colony is done, I'm going to send a colonist here or here, and then uh, we can fight them and border Castile, which will enable us to reform and declare war on them as well. So yeah, that's the game plan for now, baby. All right, colony is done. Colonist is uh, back now. So let's send them over here. And uh, yeah, we'll be declaring on these guys as soon as our truce is up. Of course, I have bumped five of my gold mines up to 10. Now I'm doing this one over here. And like I said, we are making a squat because we're uh, primitive, so to say. But once we do reform our religion, dude, we're going to be making like, uh, what's six times seven? We're going to be making like 
40 ducats a month from gold, man. All right, let's declare on Muiska. Boom. There we go. Declare war. Take whatever. Yeah, let's get it. This is the new EU4 meta right here, boys. Let me tell you that. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. This war is done. So let's take... Uh, wait, can we full annex them? Uh, apparently not. Uh, let's leave them alive uh, up in those two provinces. Sweet. But now we can uh, reform, I think, as soon as we get a uh, 100 or something. I don't know. Hey, there we go. We can actually see Castile and France over in Europe. Now, I haven't checked the great power. Well, uh, this might be a little more difficult than I thought. Now, why is French Columbia fighting the Ottomans? <laughs> now, I can reform over here. We can reform off of Castile, giving us nine tax and two institutions. But if I reform off of French Columbia here, we're also going to get colonialism. Is that worth it? Let's see. French Columbia is 10, 9, 10. Castile is... Yeah, let's reform off of Castile. They got more tech. Boom. There we go. We're actually a real nation now. Real government reforms. It get These idiots picked curtail noble privileges, man. Can you believe that? And they picked decentralized bureaucracy. All the wrong things. What about ideas? Right, right. I can get my own ideas. Oh my god, Castile, man. Embarrassing, guys. I, I don't even want to show this on video, man. As I swear, as soon as we get like 50 or 100, whatever we need, I'm flipping to this, boys. You know what it is. All right, let's open up with... Uh, qu Wait, do I really need quantity? Uh, my force limit is pretty huge, and manpower... I do need it because of manpower, to be honest. I do need it because of manpower. So uh, let's get quantity for our first one. And uh, apparently only quantity... Oh, right, right. Yeah, there we go. Now let's get uh, economic. Now, do you see the power of gold once we were formed? <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Let's bump this final one up to uh, nine, apparently. And uh, yeah, baby, we're going to be becoming massive in the next 10, 15 years. Then I'm declaring on these boys right here. All right, since we're making so much money, I am going to take uh, a massive amount of loans here so we can build a bunch of stuff. Uh, there we go. We're still making 20 ducats a month. Hey, we can build a treasury. Awesome. Yearly inflation reduction. I love it. We can upgrade monuments. But uh, most importantly, uh, I want to get some production buildings going. So price of cocoa, there we go, we can do that. Coffee's pretty good too, let's get some salt, cloth, coffee. Alright, we got the production buildings in, I got the trade in. What about some army buildings, let's build one over there. Maybe some manufacturers, do we have the good ones yet? No, so we can upgrade great projects. Let's see if we get any ones that give us, uh, you know, some military bonuses. And we don't have any that give us military bonuses. What do I do with 3700 ducats? Okay, I just got a pop-up that said Castile is preparing to declare war upon us now when you get that pop-up the ai is dead set on doing that and no matter what we do they will still declare on us now we're not in an optimal position here i did buff up my army but we're still way behind on tech compared to castile they're 11 we're 8 uh yeah maybe i should have decked up instead of taking these ideas but i do think we can field another army that's uh pretty large over here maybe we won't even need to i did just start building galleys but uh oh well i guess it's too little too late boys so yeah the spanish are doing the same thing that they did historically to the incans but to us but this time, in this timeline, we're gonna try and beat them. So let's wait for them to declare. And there it is. My Sapa Inca, the infidels in Castile, declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They said conquest as their CB. Now, this is actually good because I don't have to fight their allies, which are, uh, well, Switzerland and Montferrat, apparently. Not like it makes a difference. And they're not too strong, man. They only have one colony, the West Indies. So I guess no one will be coming from here and here. No Brazil and Argentina to fight, which is pretty good. And, uh, yeah. What's their war goal? Their war goal is Puno which is uh wait where's puno it's right there <laughs> they're, they're never gonna get this province man i'm in fact gonna set up a fort here too to slow them down even more and i'm gonna go and occupy panama which is pretty much the only thing i can do and then i guess i'm gonna wait for them to land and fight them all right we got some castilian transports down here 24 transports uh i wonder if they have an army on it not sure can't tell right now so let's move down here and actually they do have an army they are trying to land on this province right here they're gonna land on august 11th uh, I should be able to get both armies down there uh, before August 11th. So let's just stop right here and then move right here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a win, man. They have a far superior tech, but they're still doing a naval landing in a jungle province. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Let's try and roll for some better generals or maybe not. I don't know. Let's give these guys command. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna get the Eric here. He is pretty shocking. And there we go. What they have landed. Is this gonna be painful? We are actually winning over here. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Hell yeah, I like that, man. I like that a lot. They're probably gonna retreat up to Panama, so let's go beat them up up there. So far, looking good, boys. Our galleys are constructing as well. Let's uh, consolidate the ones that they can't fight just yet. And uh, let me get an admiral as well. All right, I did stack wipe those uh, straggler armies, basically the what was left from this army. And my galleys have finished building. I think I am gonna engage their transports over here, even though they have a heavy and uh, their Castile. Their Diplotech is 11, mine is 8. So they do have superior ships, but I don't know if the AI upgrades ships. So let's see, man. Let's see this naval battle unfold right before our eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And am I taking an L? Uh, kinda, sorta. Let's see. Actually, no. Actually, no. That's a dub right there, boys. I like that. I like that a lot. What I do think we need to get going is more galleys. Let's get a galley combat ability as well. And uh, I am gonna start building even more galleys to uh, have an easier time in naval battles, man. They're not bringing in too many troops right now, so I think my 35k stack is good enough to hold them off, even though I'm uh, technologically inferior. I am also gonna take uh, expansion as zealotry. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could cross over here and go and beat them up in the West Indies, but I, I simply can't. I simply can't go there. It's not possible, because we can't see anything over here. <laughs> We're paying 18 ducats a month for this massive navy that we have here, and still making money, baby. That's the power of gold. And in fact, I do have uh, some more provinces to bump up to 10, such as this one over here. So yeah, let's do that. I probably shouldn't have used up mill points right there, but hey, who cares, am I right? No, I, I don't need this in a war, man. <laughs> well, this war is anticlimactic. They haven't done anything else, man. Come on. Why am I on low enthusiasm? I'm, I'm, I'm literally not. I'm super, super enthusiastic about this war. Come on, game. You don't know what I'm thinking. You know how the Ottomans moved boats across land when they were uh, about to fight Byzantium? Why can't we just move our boats across land to over here? Well, they are medium war uh, enthusiasm, at least. This is too easy, man. Too easy. To prove how easy this is, let's, let's go fight French Columbus. Columbia, man. Like, I'm bored. I'm bored fighting Castile as Inca. I never thought that they would come. Oh, what's that, Castile? Castile cedes Panama to Inca. Castile pays war reps. Castile releases Corsica. No. No, you idiots. How embarrassing, man. French Colombia is putting up a bigger challenge rather than Castile. A French Colombia with 5k troops, by the way, rather than a Castile with 91,000 troops. These guys could crush me, but their brain equals small. And uh, I guess that's uh, that for French Colombia, huh? Too bad, man. Nice colony existed for a long time, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? No full annexing. All right, I guess you're gonna have to die. Yeah, all right, let's get these guys out. Come on, they still don't wanna peace out? Where are they getting their troops, man? Stop embarrassing yourself. Just just stop embarrassing yourself, please. You got 90,000 troops, man. Bring some of them over here, dude. Well, this is uh, a very nice event. No, it's not, it's horrible. Pain. All right, I'm done with French Columbia, bro. I don't care about this province, okay? There we go. Nice. Bye-bye. See, now they're sending me white peace because they think I'm having trouble with this stuff. Oh, my God. I can't believe the Pretenders actually won, dude. I didn't get the force in time. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, let's try and prevent internal conflicts. I think I already did, though. All right, you know, I think that's enough. They're gonna keep sending the same peace deal, and it's probably still the most I can get. Uh, I am gonna accept that. I am gonna accept getting Panama, them releasing Corsica, me getting money and war apps and stuff like that. But yeah, there you go, man. A victory versus the Spanish Empire, or the Castilians, whatever you want to call them. Uh, kind of lackluster, I know. I thought they would be smarter, but hey, I guess I uh, overestimated the uh, AI Castile's capabilities. Look at these dudes, man. You're an embarrassment, you know that? You're an embarrassment to the entire EU4 AI community, man. France, Great Britain, everyone else, you guys should be embarrassed. You guys should be ashamed of them. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Boys, it's time to strengthen noble privileges. Ah, fixing Castile's mistakes once again, man. These guys, man, these guys. And I wanted to be an autocracy. Didn't I already pick that earlier? Finally. Good reforms, man. Jesus. And you wonder why the AI struggles so much. They actually chose curtail noble privileges, man. I can't think of any scenario where you would choose that. Well, actually, you would as Austria. You don't really need the manpower. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Chachapoya right here. One of the weakest nations and one of the worst nations to form Inca with. And our goals for this campaign were to form the nation of Inca and defeat the Spanish slash Castilians. Something that the Incans couldn't do in real life. That's why we tried to do it in a video game. It's all about appealing 
to the male fantasy, I know. But we did manage to form Inca as Chachapoya, man. A long and grueling process. It took us way longer than it needed to. In fact, I've sped run forming Inca as Cusco right here, and it was super, super quick. But it took us till around the 1500s to form Inca as Chachapoya, always struggling with manpower, always struggling with the pretender rebels rising up from passing the into reforms. Tons and tons of separatists. We weren't making anything from gold until we reformed. But yeah, we conquered everyone around us, and we formed the nation of Inca, bumped literally all of our gold provinces up to 10. Now, how is there gold here when it's uncolonized, I wonder? Either way, bumped all of our gold provinces up to 10, started making massive amounts of income, and built up a massive army. And luckily, Castile colonized the province right here in Panama, which initially was far away from us, but then we fought Muisca right here, took provinces from them in order to border Castile, and we managed to reform off of Castile, and as I was getting ready to declare on them, building up my nation with forts and army stuff and economy stuff to make us even more money aside from the gold, Castile was actually the nation that declared on us. Oh, puny, puny brained Castile. How could you have declared on us? All they did was bring 24k troops, which they lost when they naval landed, then I beat up their navy and then they just said, peace, I'm out. And they didn't fight me at all after that, sending me stupid peace deals, which at the end, I accepted, but it did end as a victory for us because we got the province of Panama, we made them release Corsica, apparently, they're now Spain, and they're fighting Naples, whatever, I literally couldn't care less, and we got a bunch of money from them and war reps too. So we did manage to accomplish our second goal as well, which was to defeat Spain slash Castile in a war, something that the Incans historically couldn't do. And we also fought French Columbia for the memes, a much more difficult war than the Spanish war. But what are you gonna do? I guess that's just life. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Chachapoya in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Chachapoya in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.